Hello, I'm Jason Wagner from the University of Oklahoma. This talk discusses needle biopsy of the salivary glands with emphasis on core biopsy. I have no financial disclosures relevant to this talk. I'm going to begin by discussing a real patient case that I've seen within the last year. This was a 65-year-old male with newly diagnosed right supraglottic laryngeal squamous cell carcinoma who presented uh, also with uh, necrotic metastatic right neck adenopathy. But on uh, his pretreatment evaluation, he was also found to have a lesion in the contralateral or left parotid gland, as you can see here, a solid hypochoic lesion that was fairly hypervascular and on um, a PET CT was hypermetabolic. The patient was, re was referred for a needle biopsy and uh, we began with a fine needle aspiration of this lesion. Uh, the preliminary cytopathology was lymphocytes and atypical squamoid cells with a pathologic differential diagnosis of Worthen's tumor with squamous features versus a lymph node with metastatic squamous cell carcinoma. Unfortunately, that is a very unhelpful differential diagnosis uh, because the two different uh, possible diagnoses would have very different treatment implications. The Worthen's tumor uh, would just be watched and uh, metastatic disease to the contralateral parotid gland uh, would substantially change the patient's radiation therapy plan. So it's important to distinguish between the two.